Point local six at four o'clock. Do you know what your children are doing with their cell phones? Chances are they're sending racy text messages, maybe some pictures that you would not approve of. Welcome to Coin Local 6 at 4. I'm Amy Troy. And I'm Jenny Hansen. A new study is revealing this alarming trend, one a local parent learned the hard way. Now, police say this man shared inappropriate messages with her young daughter, all of it found later on her cell phone. Gene Olson appeared in court this morning. He is accused of starting a relationship with a 15 year old girl who he met at a Salvation Army camp. Police say an investigation revealed sexting as well as physical contact between Olson and the teen. Olson no longer works for the Salvation Army camp. And you know, sexting is a growing trend among teenagers and parents. You may be alarmed to hear a new study out this week finds that one in four teens admits to sending explicit texts. And we're not just talking about words, we mean pictures and everything. Everywhere you look at Pioneer Courthouse Square, people are busy tapping away on their smartphones. Some of them could be sending some messages that would make you blush. I grew up with having a cell phone when I was a teenager, and I know that I wasn't always appropriate, but it's been getting worse, and I think especially with young women trying to grow up faster than they should. She's got that right. A pediatrics group surveyed 948 teens ages 14 to 19 about sexting. One in four said they have sent a nude image of him or herself via email or text message and more than half said they've been asked to send one. At my school it was it was an issue. Um, I think a few people got in trouble for it but um, yeah my parents just say don't do it and that's kind of as far we've not really had to address it further than that. Her parents are lucky. Well, Vancouver and Portland family therapist Michael Bias says he's seen work. many teenage clients who've been busted for sexting by their parents, teachers, even employers. It's out there forever. You know these kids some of the things are these kids will have done something two, three, four years ago and then all of a sudden a photo shows up. Greg Odin was a high profile example of that. In 2010, nude photos he'd snapped of himself years before showed up everywhere online. The authors of the study out this week suggest that sexting is now part of a teenager's sexual development. That may be, but Bias says there are things parents can do, like check phone records to limit the chances that your teen will do something stupid. And the point is not that you're looking for things, the point is that they know you have access and they're going to self monitor. And that study goes as far as to suggest that some criminal cases involving sexting should be reconsidered given how common it is among teens. That's according to the study's authors. Those pictures are just out there for anyone. Yeah, yeah, watch, watch your teens. Right.